What's up you guys, this is Fury D talking to you guys about some gaming news that I found interesting. Hopefully you guys find it interesting as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, might as well hit that like, comment down in the box below. And if you want to stay updated for more future videos like this, might as well hit that subscribe. Now let's jump into the topic at hand. Horror game lovers will not get the chance to crap their pants as they play Amnesia games on the PlayStation 4 this coming November 22. The Amnesia Collection will include Amnesia The Dark Descent developed by Frictional Games, Amnesia A Machine for Pigs the sequel developed by a separate studio, The Chinese Room, and Amnesia Justine which I had never heard of before until today. According to creative director of Frictional Games is end quote, a shorter version game taking the form of a series of trials and is heavily inspired by films such as Saw and the historical persona of Elizabeth Bathory. Um, I have no idea who Elizabeth Bathory is but I can connect more with Saw movie. <laughs> that goes to show you my historical knowledge you guys. Now the announcement was made on the PlayStation blog by Thomas Gribb, creative director at Frictional Games. This is what he had to say about finally bringing the Amnesia series to PlayStation 4, specifically to a console. And quote, we never brought Amnesia to consoles. Over the years we've been close to making it happen. But deals either fell through or we simply didn't have time for it. He continues, it's now time to change that. And for the first time, console gamers will be able to take part in the terror. And the quote, as a fan of horror games and one that doesn't play PC games, this is great news for me. I would watch others play the games and saw that it had terrifying feel to it. I couldn't get past all the cringy screams of most YouTubers playing this game to watch all the full video. But from what I looked at, it looked like it was fun and horrifying. Now did I mention that most YouTubers playing Amnesia would be so cringy that I could not watch the whole video? Hey, yes, this leads me to talking about the new trailer of the PlayStation 4's release of the Amnesia Collection. Now the trailer was made from different footages of YouTubers that I don't even know who they are playing the game with commentary that really put me off. Uh, there was a mix of horrible acting and cringy screaming throughout the trailer which kind of made me uh, you know I don't want to watch this but I kind of hopefully it gets better but it doesn't. <laughs> I can see why they were trying to do this trailer this way but it didn't work. Obviously because the fact that you know this game got so much attention due to because of so many YouTubers playing it. It made sense in a way to make the trailer this way but I feel like it had the opposite effect. I enjoy playing horror games but I don't enjoy somebody horribly acting screaming throughout the video that ex ruins the experience of what horror games are and I think there's uh, only a few youtubers that you know can capture playing horror games and showing it to their audience the right way which I I don't even think I've seen anybody at the moment all right guys that is all I had to say it is good news that the PlayStation 4 is getting amnesia collection and it's coming on November 22 one of the things that we still don't know is the price, but it's probably gonna be around $29. It will be crazy if it's more than that. I wanna know your thoughts about you know the collection coming to the PlayStation 4, or your thoughts on the trailer. Did you enjoy it or you hated it? I would definitely wanna know your thoughts about that. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, share the love, and subscribe for more videos like this. And remember that this was Fury. I'll be seeing you guys later. Now there are third party applications that allow PC games to use uh, PS4 controllers via Jockey 2 p that emulate the keyboard inputs and as well as a 360 controller via the DS4 windows which emulate the controller but they're not direct support from Valve would be a lot better than you know, third party applications. Well,